Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn reporting for the NYU Hospitality Investment Conference. Jim Murrah of Water Walk over here. Dude, great partnership with Wyndham. I want to hear all about the details on this one. But first of all, this video is brought to you by our friends over at Unifocus Technology that drives value. Unifocus.com. All right, so fantastic. Great deal, man. What, why, first of all, is this an appealing deal for you? to get into bed with those good folks over at Wyndham. Yeah, listen, I think it's a win-win for both parties. Yeah. One, it gave us a great platform just from a distribution standpoint, mm -hmm. from a reservation, plug into their 100 plus million reward members yes. and, and the global sales organization. So very excited about that. And, and they're gonna help us grow the franchise system and uh, you know, our, our advantage is providing an upscale extended state product for, for Windows. That, that's great. And great. We're, yeah, we're, Windows we're, just about to debut another extended stay product, you know, the the Echo. So yep. they're really, really focused on that particular uh, section. They are committed to extended stay. And that was one of the one of the strong points we felt with the relationship from the very beginning. Uh, so uh, why a relationship and why not just sell like everybody else seems to be doing? You know, again, we just saw there was greater value mm -hmm. in having the partnership over long term and uh, grow the system. It's a very unjacked to board company to not sell. And I'm sure you guys would just sell and then create another one tomorrow. No, you no, know, yeah. we need a little more <laughs> runway, but uh, certainly yeah. uh, someday maybe. Yeah, that's it's pretty exciting, though, for you to be able to do this. It's really giving you the best of both worlds when you get to retain ownership of the company, but you get to open it up and get a lot more people to uh, experience it. Yeah. How are you feeling about the state of extended stay right now as it comes for the investment dollar? Yeah, again, I, the money is continuing to come in. I was on a panel this morning and uh, certainly continues strong interest in extended stay. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's an $18 billion market in the U.S., Projected to be at 25 billion by 2027, so growing in a keg are about 6% a year. Wow. With the infrastructure dollars that are being released and the other factors that drive mm -hmm. extended state demand, it's uh, a strong interest there. Yeah, so you must be pretty happy that you found this particular job at this particular part of your life. I, I, it is fantastic. Yeah. It is, uh, and again, to be here in uh, Jack's, obviously Jack's legacy, but to mm -hmm. have Nini and his granddaughter yep. continue it and help be part of that legacy is uh, very exciting. Super exciting. Before we go, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about the differences between the uh, the, the shorter term stay, which is still extended stay, and then the live type yeah. side of things. So I really think that that's a unique combination where you're able to hit people to that 30-day mark or six months or more. Absolutely. This is the hybrid, unique offering that we have as a stage. You're, I, again, extended stay on steroids, think about it, 60, 90, 110 days plus on the stay side. But on the live side, it is an unfurnished guest room. Mm -hmm. And anywhere from three months to 11 months, we call short-term live and then 12 plus. Our average length of stay on the live side is over 400 nights. Wow. And so, again, the lenders love it from the stability of cash flows. You're running 90 plus percent occupancy year round. Uh, and again, we're, we're, we're really selling, we're actually disrupting the multifamily segment. Right. Is we are selling flexibility. So, your Wi Fi, utilities, cable is all included. So, you know, it is just exciting opportunity. And for those that travel, whether it's a you know construction worker, or traveling nurses, or yep. other group. or the other multitude of people that yeah. are out there earning their living uh, on the road. Absolutely. And what's really cool is I think you have a chance to really tap into that digital nomad group as well. Folks that want to stay in a particular city for a month or two and kind of live that lifestyle and culture while they have a remote job. So absolutely. you're really well primed for that. No, absolutely. We're seeing great training as well. I mean. Uh, Places like in and out Burger opening up in Boise and need a place for those teams right. to stay in there with us for over 90 days. So pretty exciting time. All right. So when are we going to in and out Burger in Boise? <laughs> we'll be in line with everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. Those lines are ridiculous. I don't know which lines are longer. Those are the Chick-fil-A lines out on Long Island. Yeah. It's uh, not attractive. Either way, I'm going to pass on the fast food, but I'm not going to pass on staying at a water walk for next time I have the opportunity to do that. So... Jim, any final words before we get out of here? Uh, appreciate the time. Great first day at NYU and uh, looking forward to the rest of the day and the rest of the conference. Yeah, so. for sure. And right, you guys are going to be watching this a little bit past the first day of it, but it, the energy here has been great. And I look forward to sharing a lot more with you from this particular event. So for Jim, myself, and our good friends over at Unifocus, thanks for watching.